Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we're testing FSD beta version 10.3.1. That's the latest version of the FSD beta software pushed to the FSD beta testers. Congratulations to the ones that had the score of 99. Um, they should have received the, uh, the latest version of the FSD. So this uh, version was initially pushed, or the 10.3 was initially pushed on Friday night. And then there was a bit of complication and eventually it got released on Monday. Um, Maybe not on Friday night. I think it was Sunday night, and then eventually, within 24 hours, we got a fix at dot one. So very excited to try this out. I saw on the Twitter, uh, on Twitter, and other uh, social media that people were very excited, very pleased with this version. So I'd like to put it into the test. We have a different route. I want to try something very short, um, see how how that version does, and if it's if there's any improvement. So. Um, yeah, you can see the release notes here. Um, the good thing is that they have release notes now, so. They, they describe what that release note um, or that version contains in terms of release notes. Um, a lot of information here, a lot of good improvements. Um, looking forward to some of those improvements, especially like um, detection of car being parked versus car that are driving and going around it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, overall, that's pretty good. So we'll see uh, what that brings. I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye. Okay, so before we go, I want to remind everyone that FSD doesn't make the car fully autonomous. I'm in control of the vehicle at all times, and I'll be taking over if I see the car doing something that it shouldn't be doing. The other thing I want to point out is in the settings, we now have the full self-driving beta profile, and I have it assertive. Um, I want to see how that plays out. Um, I, I tried it with chill, and I feel like it's a bit too cautious so we'll try assertive and if if need be we can adjust it so i have a destination set up it's about 10 minutes only a couple of miles away all right so we have a series of stops on this road which is uh, which is fine but what is interesting here is that we do not have a divider at all so um, during the time that Tesla was figuring out 10.3, um, I was pushed one of the production version. And I took this route with the production version, basically with autopilot, uh, the standard autopilot, not FSD. And that this road was, um, it, it basically couldn't find the middle lane and therefore it wouldn't engage. But the rest of the drive was pretty good. Uh, I was surprised to see how well auto steer does when you know you have all the lines and you have everything um, uh, in the road. So that's uh, that was surprisingly good. Okay, you can see we have a crooked stop sign, but it's still visible here. And the other thing I want to mention is this morning, as I was driving this morning, I saw a new message that I didn't see before, and that message is waiting for bicycle. So I was in an intersection and a bike went through. It was a, a four-way stop sign. The bike turned blue, which I think is new. I haven't seen it before. So it turned blue and it said they had the message, please uh, waiting for bi uh, bi uh, bicycles turn or uh, waiting for bicycle, something like that. I wish I had it on camera, but I, I usually when I drive, if I don't have my usual setup with the GoPros and everything, I rarely pull my phone and try to take a photo or a video. Um, I do it sometimes, I have to, to, to be honest, but I usually do it when I'm stopped completely or you know it's safe or sometimes my wife to take the photos for me. Okay, so, so far so good. It's doing pretty well. So there is a couple of things. I did email Tesla um, a couple of days ago, and I get, kind of gave them a wish list that I had around things that I'd like Tesla to fix. One of them being no turn on red. So right now, um, no turn on red is disabled, I want to say. So every, every traffic light, the car would start and proceed and, you know, go on 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 red um a red a turn on on red um here in chicago you need to follow the sign and you need to make sure that a sign says well it's either you don't have a sign and you can do it or it says no turn on red and then you have to to respect that so i wish tesla had that implemented even if it's an on off um uh, trigger 
settings for now, just like the stops, that would be that would be really good. Um, the other things were uh, the lead cars and the stopped cars. So I can see in this version in the releases that was something that uh, was worked on, hopefully improved. So we'll, we'll test that. Um, I think I talked about the profiles. I didn't call them profiles, but kind of settings for um, autopilot. So that was good as well. Yeah, so overall, I think I think those were the couple of things I kind of pointed out uh, to them. Um, I doubt that they actually waited for my emails to implement it because they've been working on this release for a while. But I'm glad to see that those are the things that I was hoping for and they actually made it into this version, some of them at least. All right, just coming at this red light. Um, I saw in the release note something around turning signals. So I don't see that happening on the visualization. You can see the, tr the truck does not have that um, visualization around the turning signal. But it, I'm assuming that the car is reading that and understanding that a little bit better. The confusing part is that this truck has had this right indicator for a while now and he's still not making the turn or changing lanes. So as a human driver, I'm, I'm confused. I wonder at what point he's going to turn. So I can imagine how um, Ego is, is interpreting that. So. so, so far so good. The car is doing really well. It's not that challenging. I mean, we're only going straight lines, obviously, but it's, uh, it's still doing good. Still doing really well. All right, that's our turn. We can go. It says creeping for visibility. We don't need to. And then it goes. Okay, it's a little bit slow. I'm going to report that just because um, we kind of creeped into the intersection and then stopped. Visibility was pretty good. I would think so. Uh, although we do have sun, so I don't know if that's the glare. nice we're gonna stop by or get close to the Tesla I want to say dealership but Tesla store you can see a couple of cars on the left and some new model S's oh good FSD slowing down and starting again very nice oh we have a gentleman doing a stop crossing on the right hand side I wish he could just stop us and see how that will look. I'll let you guys keep an eye on the visualization to see if we can see that stop sign. Again it's creeping a little bit and then it's going. So I'm gonna report that again. I don't do I do not like that behavior. Um it's either you stop at the stop line. Oh where is the indicator? Mmm not good. I'm gonna report that. I'm just waiting until we get yep here we go. I'm gonna report that. Um no indicator that wasn't so good. Oh, very nice. Very good. So that pedestrian, all the way from the left, the car slowed down for it. That was pretty impressive. Okay, I guess we can go now. All right. Okay. Through this traffic light. Okay, we're changing directions now. I'm not sure why. Uh, navigation is supposedly going straight, but the car or FSD decided that it would make a right turn. That's fine. It's recalculating. It's gonna make a left turn here. Very good. Let's see. This is a sharp turn left. Blinded by the sun. Okay, here we go. So, car is creeping forward a little bit. That's good. 
Okay, is it gonna find a gap? It's finding a gap. It's making that turn. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I mean, it's uh, it found the gap, it went for it, um, and it made the turn. It was trying to kind of, you had a feeling that it wanted to make, to go into the opposite lane, then realized it was the opposite lane and corrected itself. So, um, while it's not the smoothest and it's not the most comfortable turn that I ever experienced, at least it got it right. So, um, yeah, very pleased with that. And now we're back to our original route. Going straight here, good. So we're going to come up to a bridge here, and I know the bridge does not have any road markings. So I'm curious to see how the car is going to handle that. Okay, so we're moving on the right-hand side. There really no need to do that. Um, the, the bridge there is narrow enough to just have one car. So our move here is going to be... Uh, it's going to be obsolete, and we're going to have to move over one lane. So we'll let the car do its thing. It's fine. And here you go. Oh, they did, they did paint some markings in the middle. So that's, that's fairly new, which is good. Okay, so we need to make a right turn here. Very nice. Oh, slowing down a little bit too much. I think it's getting a little bit confused. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to uh, tap the pedal just a little bit. Here we go. Oh, where are you going? Okay. I'm going to have to take over here. It's uh, the path prediction was not good and it was kind of trying I think it was trying to go straight so we can we can make our turn here very good all right couple more stops Here, need to move over a little bit. Very good. Just trying to stay away from that car. Here we go. Now if we go, this pedestrian is going to cross. Very nice. Again, the car saw it, and it was kind of predicting this person from going through the cross crosswalk, which is very impressive. I, as a human, I wasn't sure if he was going to cross or not, and I'll be honest, I was going to. I was just going to to go for it okay so here we are that's the end of the drive um, overall it did pretty good I think we only had one disengagement um, it was a bit confused on how to make that turn there was a big truck but but the rest of the drive was pretty smooth pretty good we, we had that mishap on the uh, route and the change um, but that's fine the car corrected itself and, and did a good job there so yeah um, overall pretty good we'll have to test it more and see how um, it compares with our standard route and um, see if there's any big improvements but overall it, it, first impression is pretty good so thank you very much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel and help me grow the channel so we can do more tests and do more of um, FSD videos together so thank you very much for watching I hope you have a great day I'll see you all in the next one bye